Hello and welcome to uh, another episode of Fully Operational uh, with me, Spike and Nick. And um, we are looking at Star Wars Armada, uh, the ex Wave 1 expansions in particular, the CR90 Corellian Corvette. If you want to watch any of other unboxings of Wave 1, then just click here and you'll be able to see those very easily. That's right. So we'll, uh, we'll just unpack this thing and have a bit of a look at what, uh, what we've got in store for today. Um, essentially it's, it's the same ship of what we've seen already in um, in the core set um, so there's nothing nothing too different about that but we'll pop this pop this thing out oh. but if you do own one core set this is a good opportunity to get yourself another one of these CR90s. It, exactly yeah it's the type it's, it's a cheap ship I mean people are even to, oh look uh, here it comes oh look at that it's like the beginning of like I'm watching the beginning of um, A New Hope here that's now. right exactly <laughs> need a, a, a starter throw to then fly back on yeah. uh, straight after it but we don't get those until wave two that's true so um but yeah no it, people are even talking about having these things as a as a corvette swarm so wow. um you could in a 300 point game you could fill like seven of these um i'm not sure how effective that would be but um but we'll wait until uh Wait until we see that. But the miniatures are a good quality. They're good. They're yep. pre-painted, uh, painted to a good standard. You don't need to worry about that. And they come with all the little bits and bobs that you every, need. Everything so. else you need. Yep. The um, all stuff in the pack, all the dials as well. Uh, everything that you need to, to use the ship. You've got all your defense tokens there. Um, all your uh, the different tokens for the orders, as well as the um, as well as, as everything you need, speed dial and everything. So we'll uh, we'll pop out some of the uh, some of these cards and uh, and have a look at, uh, at what uh, what's included in the pack. Um, first off, we've got our, our ship cards. So it's the same two variants from um, from the core set, the uh, Corvette A and the Corvette B. Um, the main difference between these two ships is the the colours of the dice that they've got, as well as the uh, the upgrades. So the uh, the A has a uh, has a weapons upgrade, whereas the um, the B has a has an ion. But upgrade. only five points between them, really, so not very much. That's right. So they're they're both they're both very very similar ships. Um, the main thing we want to look at here is the uh, the other upgrade cards that are included in this in this pack. So uh, to start off with. What are we looking at here? So you get eight upgrade cards in total. Yep. First, first up, first up, we've got our, our nav team, uh, which which allows your uh, your navigate tokens to either change your speed or increase uh, one your value or your value by one. Um, yeah, which gives you more options than would normally exactly. be the case with a navigation token. Yep. Four points, pretty cheap. Um, chuck him on something that that's just going to be buzzing around the uh, the battlefield, just like your CR ninety will be. There you go. Very nice. Good placement there, Nick. Thanks, mate. <laughs> um, all right. Well, next up we have. Oh, here it is. The uh, the leading shot uh, ion upgrade, which uh, while attacking, you may spend one blue die to re-roll any number of dice in your attack pool. Which is fine. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's a definitely a decent upgrade. Again, only four points. Um, and Especially for rolling reds, they got a chance to miss. You can spend one of those ones that have missed. Yeah, definitely. Um, we've got the H9 turbo lasers. While attacking, you may change one die face with a hit or a crit icon to a face with an accuracy icon. Um, so, I mean, it's going to be fairly situational, this, but it really is going to limit your um, your opponent's uh, defensive options. Um, so something that, that I think we will see a little bit of. Um, the, the upgrades here are specific as well, so we've got one of them's an ion upgrade, which can only go on the B, and the other one's a weapons upgrade, which can only go on the, on the Corvette A. Smart. And we've got the two there. Uh, and, and, and be aware of that, that the different ships, there are some real sort of um, idiosyncrasies between the yeah. ships, which, which you upgrade them with. And it, might, it, seems, it seems a bit nuanced, but, um, but the sort of thing you, you, you can sort of get wrong when, when you are doing your fleet builds to watch out for that. Um, the next uh, card we've got is a... Uh, electronic electronic countermeasures counter suite. Yep. While defending, you may exhaust this card to spend one defense token that your opponent targeted with a accuracy result. So really just whatever... Essentially, it just negates the accuracy that they rolled. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 
Absolutely. And on low health ships like the Corvette, that's pretty yeah. pretty useful. Now, this card is one that I think is going to see a lot of play. Uh, Ramus Antilles. For seven points, uh, when you reveal a command, uh, you may gain one matching command token without spending the command dial. So at the moment, uh, or in normal play, uh, when you have a command, you either use that command or you get the token. You yeah. use it. You, you buy a token with it, which you spend later. Um, this allows you to do both. Yeah. So I think uh, a, a lot. Which of things like consolidate fire is great because you can add an extra dice to your dice pool. That's right. And also re-roll one. Yeah. Well, I mean, every every yeah. uh, every command y you're going to want to going to want to use that. Um, our new admiral is Mon Mothma, uh, the second female character in the Star Wars universe. 30 uh, points. 30 points. Uh, so it's a bit more expensive than the other than the other rebel options for um, for admirals, but when you when a friendly ship resolves an evade token, um, it can uh, cancel one die at medium range and reroll one die at close range. So uh, basically that just extends the distance uh, that you can use a uh, use your evade tokens. Yep. Oh, sorry, makes it makes it a, a effective at closer range so particularly with these ships where they've got two of them on it yeah really if smart you, if you if, if you're in that uh that notorious even the nebulon b has one uh, too right uh, yeah the ne yeah here. every rebel ship has one of these options yeah. but if you if, say if you if you've got your ci-90 swarm then you're definitely going to want to have yeah. mon mothma absolutely Okay, next up we've got the uh, the title cards so the first one we're looking at is Jaina's pri oh, sorry Jaina's light uh you can ignore the effects of overlapping obstacles, and your attacks cannot be obstructed. Great. Uh, two points is a very cheap upgrade. Uh, you can just fly wherever you want. You don't have to worry about asteroids. Don't have to worry about debris fields, and uh, you can shoot uh, through other ships as well, yeah. with, uh, with unaffected. So it's um, it makes it a very versatile ship by uh, by by putting that upgrade on there. And finally, the last title is the one that we all know and love: Tantive Four. Before you gain a command token, one friendly ship at distance one to five may gain that token instead. Yeah, so it's interesting. This uh, for three points. This upgrade very much complements uh, the the Leia Organa card, which uh, which means that you can change the order of a ship within one to five uh, to change the the top command dial rather and this means that you can also give it a token for that command yeah. also uh, synergized well with ramus antilles i noticed too so when you get a command dial you get a token when you get a token you give it to someone else yeah i guess that could work i think it does work i don't think so i don't think that's how it works why not well um before you gain a command token one friendly ship actually no you're right yeah 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 Cool. Sorry. There we go. That's all right. Well, after that little deliberation, <laughs> uh, we have decided it does work. Uh, but if it doesn't, let us know in the comments. Um, uh, obviously, this is, we're all new to this. But uh, obviously, follow us on social media. Uh, you can see the links now. And uh, we'll see you in one of our next videos. Thank you very much.